<laughs> Hello. Oh my. <laughs> Apparently it's seven o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Now you tell me. Okay, I'm scrambling. I'm scrambling. <laughs> Let me just find a space on my desk. I I kind of forgot that I hadn't cleaned up after my crafter math. So <laughs> anyway, give me a hidey ho. Let me know who's out there while I shovel off a spot on my desk. <laughs> Hello. So welcome to Mystery Card Monday. Hi, Melanie. Um, I'm Tamara. You're on Tamara's Paper Trail. Ooh, I'm floundering, floundering. That's okay. I, just, I thought I had more space than I do. And then I'm having trouble with my lighting tonight. I don't know. It's really, really bright on the left-hand side. And I've never noticed it to be so bright on the left-hand side. So I've been messing around with that and afraid that I'm going to drop my very expensive lights. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm scrambling a bit. Hi, Marcella. Hi, Penny. Yeah. So is there anybody playing along tonight? Or are you all just hanging out on this um, family day holiday? Hmm. Hi, Wendy. Sorry. I really shouldn't be coming on a live with candy in my mouth. Wow. Okay. Apparently I did a little bit too much relaxing today. <sighs> yeah. Happy weekend. It's, um, hi Jen. Yes. Happy family day. Did anybody do anything remotely exciting? I was saying to my girls, I'm like, okay, I'm scrolling through Facebook and I'm seeing all these posts from all my friends and some are, you know, in the mountains and some have gone skating. Some have gone, you know, mini golfing and hiking and I don't know, family day stuff at various um, um, community halls and stuff like that. I did nothing. <laughs> well, I mean, I did stuff. It's, it's just, it's another day in the Bertram household, right? And I'm like, should we have done something? Should we have gone somewhere? But we did spend time together. I mean, but we always spend time together. So I'm like, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm having this mom guilt about us not like doing as much stuff as maybe we should. We, like, we make memories. We played board games. We, Rebecca learned how to make Craig's pasta dinner, which is why I'm like, okay, I have a belly full of pasta. Now I just want to go to sleep. Um, so she did that. She made, they made carrot cake together. Alicia and I played a board game. I took a nap. Like we all kind of did our own thing, right? Hike tunnel mountain in Banff, right? Okay. So Wendy, like you do stuff. I don't do stuff. <laughs> Hi Pat. No yoga. Well, I'm glad you could hang out with me instead. I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a relaxing day and we spent it together in the house. It was cold. Well, it seemed cold. Maybe it wasn't that cold. I think it was, it was, it was still, was it minus nine plus nine? I don't know what it was. I don't even know what it was. It was, I don't know. It was Monday. I came down. I had a blog hop. Did y'all check out my blog hop? I liked it. You want to see the cards I made for it if you haven't seen them already? <clears throat> oh, you made the impossible cards, Kathy. Those are fun. I was thinking of doing those on a check it out Tuesday one of these days. Where did my cards go? This is what I did on my blog hop today. So... Did y'all see this stamp set? It's one that I bought and I had to have it because it's a specific, like it's, you know, a great one for dancers. And I have a lot of dance, um, a lot of dance mom friends. Their girls are like into dance and a few of them just got their point shoes. Like it's a bit of a big deal. So when I saw this stamp set, um, I had to have it and I will keep it. It'll be in my stash like forever because it's so specific. Really? I bought it to, um, really to have on hand if my customers and or friends need to borrow it, honestly. Uh, it's a great set though for encouragement, right? One step at a time until the journey becomes the dance, believe, dance, enjoy every step. So it is a lovely set. I thought I'm going to ink it up and, um, not going to lie. I struggled a bit. I'm going, wow, it's a bit of a, it's, it's a bit tricky because you've got two, if they had three dancers, I could have done a lot more with it a lot easier, but this one, we've just got some random legs, <laughs> which is, I mean, I suppose we could have them coming out of a, out from under something like we could have a Dorothy and the witch house and like, <laughs> like, but you just have these feet that stop. So that one, it didn't flow with these two and as Donna will say, hi, Donna, I saw you pop in. Um, you know, you gotta have three. So you can't just have these two images and then some random legs. So this is the one that I like the best because, oh, it looks like I did that on purpose. Um, there's just something on my card here. But I kind of got into these sequins that I've got. So these ones, like, I just, I've got bazillions of them, right? Bazillions. <laughs> and I don't use them. So I thought this was a nice way to break it up. It was super easy. Just a little bit of sponging, dance, 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 um, stamped it in the gray, fussy cut it, strip of sticky strip or of tear and tape, 
and stick the uh, the sequins on. This was similar. Um, this was actually a card we've done with Mystery Card Monday before. Take the body one off and put on legs. Well, what here? Or on what? What? Don't get it, Donna. Take body off one and put on legs. Oh, the take the body of the one and put it on the. I see what you said. Okay, yeah. Anyway, so this one I did the um this I haven't used this cascading ruffles embossing folder, so I used it on that, thinking it would give the nice flow of like their skirts, and uh, it's so this is like the third smallest, um stylish shapes square, matted it, boom, another strip of um tearing tape and threw the sequins on there, and I really quite like how that turned out. Oh, anyway, um. So, what was I going to say on that? Uh, there was something else I was going to say about that, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, the stylish shapes, you guys, you guys, listen up, listen up, listen up. Okay, for those of you who might not have them yet, the stylish shapes, right? You know, I'm banging on about these for months and months and months and months and months, right? They're out of stock. They're back in stock. They're back into low inventory. They'll be two or three, when they sell out again, they'll be like two or three months, I'm sure. Like the last ones were two or three. Thanks, Kathy. The last ones were two or three, um... Uh, two or three months before they came in. So I don't know. They they just obviously got a small batch in and or so many people realize just what a great uh, set of dyes they are. So if you want those, Celebrations is still on for another month. Another month? Oh, another week. Woo! Uh, too much pasta. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Penny, don't miss out. Yeah. The dyes, I mean, I use them every week, right? So if you want them, get them now because I'm telling you, now that they're in low inventory, people are going to start panic buying, which should be you. If you don't have them, you should be panic buying right now. Hi, Cheryl. Hello. Hi, Carol. Nice to see you. Okay. Let's, let's giddy up. Let's get going. You know what? I haven't even finished making tonight's card. <laughs> are you surprised? I needed to finish my, um, pardon me. That was sloppy. <laughs> I needed to finish my blog hop this morning. I quickly came down and whipped this off. And before I knew it, it was like 1.30. I'm like, no, I do. I need to spend some time with my family. So I did. I watched some shows and some things. I tried to fix my nails. Look at my nails, you guys. They are like down to the flesh. I need to do some serious. I need to focus. Anyway, let's make some cards. Okay, so let's make them together because I haven't made one yet. I know where I'm going with it, but I haven't finished it yet. So hi, Sandy Marshall from Ontario. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, that's right, Melanie, right? You guys are learning that when Tamara says buy it, buy it. Um... Yeah, not my first uh, go around the block, and I kind of know what's going to go when. Mm. Okay, let's flip this over, and let's get making some cards. So it's 708. We know this one, the tripper and the... Tri tripper. Words are hard. Trimmer and your usual tools and bot. Hi, cat. Tri cat. I was like, wait a minute, that's not right. I, it's cat, right? We call you cat, don't we? Okay. You're excited. Well, I'm glad you're excited. I'm excited, too, because I don't know how it's going to end up looking. <sighs> okay, we're making three cards tonight, girls, so... Let's just start with that and get it out of my way. So grab your card bases. Mm -hmm. Hi, Bev. It's a holiday where you are too. It's President's Day there, right? And here it's Family Day. Okay, so we're going to take our eight and a half by five and a half paper, fold it in half. Just got home from fishing. Lillian, that's okay. Work with me. Girl, just grab some. We need three card bases. Go, Lillian. Go, go, go. Did you catch anything? Ice fishing? Is it cold enough there? Like, oh, what sequins? Um, uh, MJ, those were the fancy something or other um, sequins. These ones, there's, I'll show you. These ones. For everything fancy sequins, you get, I said a bazillion, but it might be a gazillion. You get so many in all these colors. So pretty. So I'm trying to, I'm doing, what's going on here? I'm trying to do more shaker cards lately. Did you see I had this one too? Because I've got all these elements that I keep buying and then I don't use them. And then, oh, okay. Anyway, do you score your centers? I don't, Barbara. Do you? I, that seems like a lot of work for me. And sometimes it's not right in the middle anyway. So I'm thinking, well, no, I don't score them. Do you? If you are going to score them. Okay. So do you know, was MJ, was it, you know, it was Barb. Uh, MJ, your, our mutual friend Barb taught me this. If you're going to, if you like to score your pages, here's a little Tamara's tip. If you like to score before you fold your card bases, um, what you want to do is you want to put it in the trimmer 
And so I always cut mine at five and a half, but I'm gonna put it in the trim at four and a quarter. I'm gonna grab my stylus or your uh, score tool and you're gonna score it at four and a quarter. Then you're gonna cut it at five and a half. Then you've only scored once, but you've got two that are scored, right? Score twice or score once, cut once. You do, but I'm finding them, right? So yeah, Barb, like it drives me a little insane. So no, I don't, no, okay. So we have our three card bases. Now I'm gonna show you a couple different versions. If I, is this lighting? It is glaring for me. It, it bothers me. It's just so bright, irritating me. Okay, uh, so we need three card base, or three card stock layers, three and three quarters by five. Hi, Joy. So uh, three and three quarters by five, I've got three of those. I'm gonna make one card for now, and then maybe I'm gonna step up the other two. So I'm gonna show you how, like this can be a simple, or this can be jazzed up. Okay, for this one, uh, I'm also gonna bring in my shapes. For this, I use the two and a half circle from the Stylish Shapes dies. You can use smaller, and I might use smaller. Used to score them, but then I could never get the centers right. Okay, thank you, I'm not crazy. Well, I am, but. All right, now we've got our three card layers, one and three, three, yeah, cardstock layers, one and three quarters by four and a quarter. Cut three of those, so I've got three of them. Here's three of them. But this one's actually already been taped down. <laughs> and now we've got our designer papers. So I'm gonna cut these. So let's grab our trimmers. Friends, grab our trimmers, grab our trimmers. This one we are going to cut. Let me get it straight here. So this is the piece. I'm calling this designer series paper number two. And this is uh, two across by 10 and a half long. And I'm gonna cut those down I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut it at three and a half, three and a half, three and a half. So three and a half, let's get you in the field of vision, three and a half, three and a half. And then the other one is three and a half. Okay, so we've got our three pieces there, put them aside. This one, designer pattern, designer paper pattern number one, it's one and a half by 12. And we're just going to cut that at four, four, four. Now, this paper, I had somebody ask, I think it was Melanie, what paper this was. And so that's all our cutting for now. This paper comes from this paper stack, which is at the back of the holiday catalog that you can get with your host rewards. I think it's only $24, of, or 24 host dollars. Is that correct? So it's this one, flowers and more. 12 by 12 DSP, okay, it's $25, uh, 25 host dollars. You can't buy it with money. Um, <laughs> Kathy, <laughs> um, it's a regular $42 value, so you get a, a savings. So when you have a party or a workshop, if you're a demonstrator, if you have your own workshop, that's $200 or more. And if you don't, you should be using the host code, ladies. You can get this paper stack. Now, it's lovely, but holy cow, it could like burn your retina, right? Like, so I, I opened it today. I thought, I'm going to use this paper. I'm gonna use it and I went, oh my God, look at all that color. And then I take it out and I flip it like, oh, like it's, it hurts, it hurts. Look, it's so bright, oh my goodness. But I find if I take out one sheet, so I took, I found this sheet and I went, well, that's really pretty. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, it's bright, but it's just, I'm not overwhelmed by all the patterns. <laughs> oh, hello, Jennifer. I'm sorry, I haven't really started yet. Does that matter? Sorry, Jennifer, I just saw that message now. <laughs> well, she has a meeting or she has a meeting scheduled, Donna, so she can't ever show up on time for like, I think you've got what, two or three more weeks of that, Jennifer? Which is nonsense. It's like, anyway, this paper is really pretty. Yes, it is like, it is bright, girls. But if we just use a little chunk of it, so if you use this much, it's not too bad, right? If you just use little bits of it. So don't let the paper scare you even though it terrifies me. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my first one that's gonna be fairly simple. And this one I already taped down. So tape, tape piece one to this, <laughs> and then bring in one of these. And um, this one, I'm gonna pop up on dimensionals, this layer, this one back here. So this is gonna be my simple, my simple version. Oh, good, Jennifer, we do miss you, we do. Okay, Donna needs someone to, um, to rally again, or um, no, what is it? Volley with, volley with, right? <laughs> yeah, 
Yes. What were they calling you last week? The Heckle Sisters? That's okay. You guys have been pretty good lately, I've got to say. So I'm going to put down dimensionals on this layer and put on my card base. So this, again, is a quick and easy layout. You need something quick and easy, slap a few of these together. And then if you have a little bit more time or if you want to play a little bit more, jazz it up. Assist with the heckling. That's right. You need an assist. Ass yeah, that. Okay. So now here's the layout. Like I'm thinking this. Or you could do, uh, well, this can go anywhere. This could go over here. Or you could do it like this. So if you have, if this piece is really, really busy and you're like, it hurts, it hurts. It's so bright. You could cover most of it up with your sentiment. Okay. So I think we're going to go, I think I liked, I want to see this one. I like that one. I think it's pretty. Now, if you want a little bit of interest, well, we'll do that later. Okay. Let's just start with this. So I'm going to, how am I going to do this? I'm going to tape these down flat and then I guess I could pop up my sentiment. Um, Let's not overthink it. Did I just say tape these down flat? Oh my gosh. And I have no nails. Like literally. Where is my tape? Here it is. It's doing over there. Where is everything? Oh, it's buried under all my ballerina things. All right. I'm going to tape this down. Goodness me. Hi, Wendy. Now we can start heckling, but not jekling. <laughs> Assist with Okay. Don't let them corrupt you, Heather. Don't let them corrupt you. Turn away from the light. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm just going to put these down, maybe like this. Stagger them a bit. Now this one I did stamp on already. So where's, where's that one I stamped? I don't even know where it went. Where did you go? Are you in here somewhere? No need to stamp it again. I don't know where it went though, so I guess I'm going to have to stamp it again. I don't know. Had one. All right, we're doing it again. Okay, so this one, I found a sentiment in uh, this one, the Something Fancy, which is one that we are featuring in our extravaganza. And I'm going with this one, now that I whisked away. I didn't forget your birthday, it's just, I'm just stretching out the celebration because it fits nicely in my two and a half inch circle. So I'm going to ink that up. I've got... Um, Shaded spruce going on here. Okay. I really did plan to come back down here and uh, finish putting this together. It just didn't happen. Got a little distracted with food and stuff and things. It's okay. It's a holiday. I can't. I can't work every minute, right? It's not healthy. All right, so you can put that down like that. Um, I could find some embellishments. Now, I kind of want to tie in something a little bit darker. Uh, now, this is where you guys usually watch me flounder, looking for embellishments for 20 minutes. But somewhere, I seem to recall that I do have some soft suede ones somewhere. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll embellish it later. Let's just get on with the main show. So there's our main card. Yeah, for the same. I know it's a good one. It's a good one. So let's just look, work at, ste at stepping it up and then we'll, um, I'll worry about the embellishing later. So I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of the pieces in that I'm going to tape. Um, get out of the way. These ones to these ones. So let's do that because that step is the same. Jennifer, there is one spot left in our virtual extravaganza. Now, technically, registration closed on the 15th. But since I have one spot left, if you want it, this stamp set comes in the swag. Okay. All right. So what we can do with this next one is to step it up a little bit. We can emboss this background. Um, we could stamp some little flowers on the background. Now, do I have, I'm sure I have some cute, but I don't, I don't really want to. I'd rather emboss it. 
Uh, so let's see. I've got my favorite. Where did it go? I used it just a week ago, so it shouldn't be too far. Where did I get? Like it's in my. It's in here. I just have to figure out exactly where in here it is. It's the. Uh, Ay ay ay. Um, what's it called? The stitched leaves die. There it is, this one. You know I love it. You know I do. Because that'll tie in some nice little leaves behind here. So let me find my cut your boss big guy, because he's too big for my little guy. So I'm going to run him through the big one. This guy's getting a workout today. I'm still cutting for my extravaganza. So he was on the floor. He was just in the other room 10 minutes ago. Okay. This is one of the prettiest dies. I'll do that soon. Yeah, thank you, Sandra. I will. Uh, no worries. No worries, Jennifer. Okay. All right. So here is our second card base. Let's bring that in. So we've got this embossed. This I just love it. Just love it. And then we can do the same thing. We can layer it. With these pieces and put a sentiment on it. So let's mix it up. I wonder if I can, it's too tall to go that direction now. So no, we can't do that. All right, it's got to stick this orientation, but we could change these up like this, put the sentiment there. But again, I don't I really like that sentiment. Yeah. Or I like this, um, I want that to show. Oh, I could put it right in the middle. Let's do that. Move it over. So we're just changing it up a bit, adding an extra element. Now I do kind of like that on top of it, even though it covers up that. That one will do it right in the middle, I suppose. Why not? Mm-hmm. Yes, Jennifer. You didn't regret it, did you? You can't regret this one. Okay, there's this bothers me. This has like um <laughs> a line through it. I must have scored that. So I'm gonna try to rub that. I'm trying to try to erase that. Okay, so this was a piece of scrap I had. I'm like, oh look, there obviously was a score line in there. I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna try to erase it with my bone folder on the back. Another Tamara's tip. Heather, you got my back on these? So I'm just gonna take my bone folder and rub it. Now it's not going to make it perfect, but hopefully it'll make it a little bit less noticeable. A little bit. Maybe not. Maybe it's all in my imagination. I feel like it's less noticeable. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to stamp it. If I was really good, I could get some of the words on it, but anyway. Cover it with an embellishment of some sort. Kind of, but not really. Jennifer, you just not... Don't, okay, don't blame me because you're not using it. You do need it in your stash. You do, you do. Where, here we go. All right, so I haven't actually done anything with these. So these, you can you can step this up. Let's pop this... Mm, no, let's keep this one flat. So I'll use adhesive on that. Actually, I think I'm supposed to use glue on this because I think when it's this um, when it's this embossed or die cut or compromised, <laughs> I think glue is the better option that it'll stay on your card better. So let's glue him down like that. Give him a big push. Oh, sorry, Heather. Did you make a boo-boo in scoring? <laughs> this one I'm going to pop up on dimensionals this time. 
Tell me more. It sounds like a crafting error, Heather. <laughs> what happened? Okay, so these ones are going to pop up. So to, to jazz up a card a little more, you just you want to add more elements of interest, which generally are texture, dimension, that sort of thing. So we're doing that. Now this piece, if this is going to come over here, because this piece is on top of this one, it's popped up. So we need to have a dimensional here too, right? Otherwise it's going to be school with, which is a word. Maybe it's not, but I make these things up. And I'll put one up here too, why not? And then I'm just going to put some tape down here. So it's going to flap it in the breeze. Okay. Liquid, yes, exactly, Jennifer. When there's something bumpy in the paper, the liquid glue is the way to go. So I'll put this like this. So we're adding some dimension for some interest. And this one too. If we pop this up on dimensionals, it's just another layer of interest. I'm going to put this one right in the middle. Like that. And again, we will, then we can add in some butterflies, some, um, um, some ribbon, some baker's twine, right? So already you can see how this one is a little bit fancier. Then for one more for even fancier, I'm going to cut this down a little bit. So I'm going to take it into, instead of three and three quarters, I'm going to take it into three and a half by four and three quarters. And then I'm going to bring in a layer of, um, what's it called? Uh, Good Lord. Um, shaded spruce, if I can find it. Hang on, there's gonna be an avalanche paper here. If only I were prepared, this wouldn't happen. But then it wouldn't be nearly as amusing for you guys, right? Oh, just a little more. Okay, so now I'm, just, I'm going to add a mat just to bring in a little bit more interest. So did I say this was three and a half by four and three quarters? Yeah, so I'm gonna go three and a half and two ticks, because we know, um, three and a half and two ticks by four and three quarters and two ticks. So it's just gonna give a little smidge of color behind this. Okay, so that's gonna add some interest. Dragonfly, yes, I love that, yes, dragonflies. Okay, um, now. These new embossing folders. Shut the front door, you guys. Holy, love these folders. Where's the one I love the most? It is buried in the hell that is my embossing section. And why am I singing about my embossing section? Where did that other one go? The one that I love is the hash. Hang on. There, nope. Nope, that's the cane weed. Hold on, where's my... Where did it go? Do I have it somewhere else? There's another one I haven't even used that one yet. Hold on, talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Here it is. This one. So we could, yes, emboss this with the dies again, but let's try to use this fancy guy, or should I use the polka dots? What's gonna look better? Let's pretend that there's paper here. So this is what, this is another trick I'll do. Sometimes I'm like, mm, let's see what that's gonna look like. Pretend this is the card base. So I'll take the card base and I'll put it in the embossing folder just to help me get a visual of, oh, do I like that? Or do, these are like bubbles that remind me of bubble wrap and they are very pleasing to me. So how this gives you an idea of what it's gonna look like. Oh, I don't think so. So take it out put in this one this looks very busy to me so these are these embossing folders you can get if you're a customer starting March 1st if you're a demonstrator you can get them now now that one's quite pretty because they do look like flowers a little busy for my liking oh yes no I know Jennifer I'm just showing the people I'm just showing the people what you can do here this is my favorite this hashtag one which is a much more subtle pattern and this is the one I'm gonna go for because look it's just pretty and subtle, subtle being the key. So I've shown you, um, again, it was Donna who taught me about this line. I never never clued into this line before. This line, if you wanna make sure that your layer is lined up, put your 
paper on the line. Close the door. This is a 3D embossing folder. It's thick, so that means we need to use our thick gray plate in our machine. We take out all the other stuff. So you just leave the... Do we, leave... do we use this one or do we use one plate? Yeah, we still use one plate, right? I can't remember now. No, we don't. No. So we put down our seam first. Has to go seam first. And our number four thick gray plate for all of our 3D folders. Like that. Okay. All right. But I am going to use this on something. Oh, that screams baby card to me. Okay. Let's clean up a little bit here as we go. You can go back on the floor with your friends. There you go. Okay. So now I'm going to glue these. I think, again, because it's compromised and bumpy, like um, Jennifer said, I'm going to use my liquid glue on this one. So we're just stepping it up a little bit. So there's just a hint of color behind the layer. How could it be 731 already? All right. Now, another thing you can do for interest is you can angle this layer. So we could go and angle like this. Could bring in our pieces, same as before. You can angle them some more. You can keep them straight. I think I, I want to keep this. I'm in a straight mood today. I'm still going to pop them up on dimensionals. Now for this one, I'm, I'm going to bring in another another strip of designer paper if I can find it. I had it here. I wonder where I put Oh, I probably checked it in the bucket. Oh, there it is. Okay. Like, see, I do have a bit of a plan when I come into these things sometimes. <laughs> okay. Hey, tomorrow the cabinet people come and hopefully it's the last time I see their faces. Finish my cabinets for once and for all. Okay. Now, let's see, I'm going to add, so this is a little bit smaller, like this, now this layer still isn't as big as this layer, so it's adding a little bit more kapow, focusing on the center of it. To add more interest, I'm going to push these off the side of the layer a little bit more. Again, it's just, it's just a little bit more interest right it's hanging off the edge it's not where you would kind of expect it to be and maybe I go with a smaller sentiment we will have this one maybe popping off the edge maybe I'll have this popping off the edge now one other thing I wanted to bring in though is another strip another piece another color this is the same pack of designer paper I could go like this and I could do Something like that, or I could I could still keep it with the large. I mean, if you want, I can have the same sentiment. Why not? You can never have too many belated birthday cards. So let me just play with the layout a little bit. Let's see how I want this to be. Again, just a little more interest. Angles, angles are always going to add, it draws your eye kind of where you want it to draw. So you could put it straight and have it right in the middle of that circle. You could put it at an angle, have it a little bit crazier. Something like that. You could make this this layer smaller. You could tuck that in behind more. That'll, that'll really draw your eye. Ooh, how about something like that? Really draws your eye to the, uh, to the sentiment, something like that. Mm hmm Hi, Nikki. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. So I'm going to pop this one down. The adhesive. That one will go up 
one dimensionals. So as with all of our layouts on a Monday, I mean, you can keep them simple. You can step them up. Um, depends on how much time, how many supplies, the inclination. <laughs> I don't I want to make sure the fold is. You ever put a card on the wrong direction? <laughs> I do all the time. I'm thinking something maybe a little smaller on this one. Yes. Think smaller or do you want bigger? Well, should I keep it big? I did say I was going to keep it the same, didn't I? Okay. Hi, Linda. Sure, we'll keep the same because I don't feel like looking for another sentiment. Although, you know what? There's a really nice sentiment. So I pulled out this one. Wishing you joy and love this Easter. That one fits in this big circle too. Because this would make a good, cir a good Easter card, don't you think? Isn't that pretty? But I don't send out Easter cards, so I thought, well, don't make that one. So I put it back. We'll keep this one. Smaller? Oh, everybody says smaller. Okay. Now you're gonna make now okay okay but now now you have to make now now I gotta look for something that's gonna fit. Um, oh lord, this is where the games begin, you guys. You know what's happening here? I'm running into my big shot machine. Am I? Ah, cutting the boss machine is in my way. Okay. Uh, okay. How about? Let's see these ones. You just made enough bail. Good to know, Linda. <laughs> Glad you have your priorities right. So this one I could do. Uh, does happy birth the birthday? I don't think fits on this one, does it? Happy birthday? Nope, too small. Okay. Uh, hello, friend. Mm, don't need a lot of hello, friends. Thanks. Nope, not loving this one. Back it goes. Sentiment from the framed florets. Thank you. Let's find my framed florets. Framed florets. Where are you? Oh, okay, I've got everything there. Yeah, it's pulled out. It's been yes, for a special person on a special day. Thank you. Saved yourself from having to sit here and watch me scramble forever. Um, wishes for a beautiful birthday. I think that's a little big. Maybe not. Oh, look at the big that just fits. But I think. might be too small actually for a special person on a special day but then I could go in we don't have to find a fly I know we have flowers that are like this hang on I know we do and I don't think I've even used the stamp set very much hang on my eyes are kind of wonky this lighting is messing with my head today this no lovely you Simply fabulous. This one. This one. Does this work? Oh, I thought they matched. Okay. Huh. Well, I guess we're going to go with this one then. Wishes for a beautiful birthday. Because it fits. Thanks for that, Linda. Oh, thanks, Janice. I hope you play along and share what you make. Now this one, so I'm gonna go in, okay. Okay, what's going on with my camera? It's, it's, it's drooping. <laughs> I guess it's not, oh, now it's bash, gonna bash into my head in a minute. You bet, Barb. Yep, I could do that for the smaller one too. But you know that's where I struggle, right? We got 20 minutes left and, okay. Now, let's finish this bad boy up. We're gonna add some, um, here it is, it's slid under my computer here. So again, if you hang it off an edge, it adds some interest. If you pop it up in some more dimension. Now this guy's already popped up. So let's kind of secure that down a bit, but oh well. <laughs> now that I said don't do that. Um, it's gonna be a little smudgy. So I need a dimensional over here on this side. And you know my Tamara trick is we're going to have to put this here. And then this can go here. So 
could go like this, like that. All right, so now we can embellish. So you can see how very simple, but still lovely. And we still have embellishing to do. So number one, stepped it up a little bit with some interest and some texture. Then we added, it's my face, my face is in the way, hang on. There we go. All right. So then we've stepped it up a little by adding some color here. Again, we've got some texture here, another little strip of paper. This has to be up like it's crooked because <laughs> that's going to bother me. Hang on. Because this has popped up, that's, uh -huh. I broke my own rule. I'm blaming the pasta. It makes me sleepy. Darn my husband for being such a great cook. like that okay that makes me a little bit happier well now this is too big and then this one needs a dimension okay let's see what's happening here it's all going horribly wrong my dimension is all off okay there we go all right let's bring in some embellishments and some ribbon and some stuff and some things shaded spruce i've got now this is um granny apple green We've got gold will look nice. Let's bring in the butterflies and let's bring in those dragonflies. Dragonflies. Yep, they are exactly. They're even even the stepped up version. It's quick and easy. You've got an extra strip. So this one I should tell you is three, I want to say three quarters of an inch by three, maybe three, three quarters of an inch by three and a half. Pardon me. Is this little chunk? All right. So these, are these dragonflies all the same? They are, right? Oh, they're so cute. And they're nice and thin. They don't add too much weight. So I think something like this, we could get away with just one little dragonfly and maybe a silver, where'd my silver go? Here's my silver. There we go. It's everywhere. Where is my bow tire? Oh my gosh, where is everything? Nightmare. So let's see how this looks. This might be too much, we'll see. Okay, so let's tie a little bow. Yeah, oh, it's a, it's a good one, um, Barb. So because we use a 12-inch strip, right? Like, a, it's not a one-sheet wonder, but it's a one-chunk wonder, right? If you get the two the two pieces, like one is one and a half by 12, the other one is two by 10 and a half. So it's almost 12, right? You end up with this much left over after you cut it off. Um, but for sure, out of, you know, two 12 by 12 papers, you can make a lot of cards. So... So I like my ribbons to kind of go my tails. Hi, Nancy, you didn't see the dragonflies? Get on it, sister. Get on it. All right, so this, let's see if I can. No, they don't really twirl and curl, but I like them when they go in opposite directions. The tails on this. Like what happened on my, this one. It went perfectly because they naturally curled this way and this way. So when you have your twine, keep it tight on its roll. And then when you go to use it, hopefully it'll be curly like this and it'll kind of swing naturally on its own. So let's see, I could do this. I could do that like over here. And put a dragonfly somewhere. I kind of like the dragonfly down here. And maybe no bow, because now that looks like too much. It's too much for this little simple card. I think we're done with one little guy. So where's our little... Here we go. Blue dot. The mini. Yes, thank you, Donna. So for these guys, I'm going to try to attach him right onto the glue dot. Cut out the middle man here. They don't, Barbara, but I find when you put the glue dot on, they're pretty good. 
Like they don't tend to move once you've got the glue dot. And I tie it really tight. Like I pull it really tight when it's on here. So I agree with you though. So there, like this, that's all it needs is the one little guy. If you're so inclined though, because you know me, I'm like, well, really? Is that enough? Look, we got these little guys. I could use these little silver balls, which are the red and green adhesive back pearls, but they're not red and green at all. <laughs> they carried over from the mini. And I kind of love them. Now, Donna, what's our rule here? Can I do three silver things and a dragonfly, or does that make four and then we're out of luck? How's that work? Is that too much now? I think it's too much, right? Don't like that. Taking them off. Off they come. But I don't know. What's the rule, Donna? I think three and one is okay, but I'm wrong a lot. What say you? Okay. I'm leaving that one. He's done. He's done. This one's a little bit snazzier, so he can have a little bit more. I don't know what he's going to get, though. Maybe he's going to get... Is he going to get butterflies? No, no what? You can't just say no, Donna. No what? Three and one doesn't work? Okay, you guys talk to Donna for a minute. Butterflies. Where are my colorful guys. These, these and these. These are colorful. These are colorful. These are colorful. Okay. What's Donna saying? She's not saying. Odd in all embellishments. So, all right. So Donna says, no, I would have to stick with two of the silver. Okay. So let's see what's pretty in here that we've got. We could do... I think because this one's pretty snazzy, I think he's going to get the butterflies, this one. I'm going to get butterflies. Okay, well, that's good to know. See, Donna's my embellishment knower of all the things. Okay, bye, Teresa. Thanks for popping in. Okay. So this guy's going to get butterflies just because it's pretty busy already. So we're going to go like one. I find sometimes these butterflies, the glue stays on the thing. Uh, not on the butterfly. How about like that? Okay, we could stop with that. I think that's pretty. And then, okay, they're cooking me alive down here. Now this one. I could do a die cut. Do I want to do a die cut? What else can I do? Uh, this one could have... I don't know that I want the silver on this. I think gold. Not feeling the silver gonna feel the gold maybe what do we got here any oh you know we got these colors Hold on. Is this Let's see what we got for brighter colors oh these ones would be pretty these red ones we've got red these would pull in is that might not work might work I don't know we've got these what's something bright so what do you think? How about maybe these red ones would work, but they're not very big. Where are those flowers? Where'd the flowers go? Here's some flowers. Oh, these might work. These work. Look, I have, ooh, ooh, pretty. What are these? Okay. These are fun flower resin shapes. And they're different sizes, which makes me happy. Three pearls and then a ribbon twine bow or a dragonfly. Three pearls and then, a, oh yeah, you could do that. I don't want to use these ribbons or these these now. Is this bright enough? Is this too bright? No. Doesn't really go. The blue. The dots. I kind of want the flowers. Get off. What do we got here? But that doesn't really go with the green. Does it go with the green? I don't think it really goes with the green. It does not go with the green. It's very complicated. I don't know. We're loving the blue. I could do mixed. I could do a blue. 
then I could do a hmm hmm the yellow is not very bright though and eh, I don't like that no you know what these one might work better because this is a better color I think adhesive back milky dots <laughs> don't like the word milky pretty One, two, and then I could color one to make it this pinky color. Let's go to my Poppy Parade. Where's my Poppy Parade? Poppy Parade Dark. I know there are a lot of choices. It's hard, hard, hard. So I could use one of those, but let's see if we can just, oh, it's dripping everywhere, right? My rule. Holy. See what's going on here. Could have ruined my card with that. It's dripping everywhere. Uh, I think I want a big one. Let's color. So, might not be dark enough. Nope, I want it darker. So, let's grab a different one. Let's grab my real red and see what that comes out like. So, again, to open it, go like this carefully and slowly. better and although it says real red it doesn't really read real well maybe it does yeah it does all right okay it's wet too holy now uh melon mumbo polished pink yeah polished pink now the neat thing about when i do this and i'm coloring these things is even though i just made that one real red if i go over it with my polished pink it's going to remove that color of the real red and it's going to replace it <laughs> get back here it's really wet because I have um I don't because all this alcohol okay stop it let's go over here so that's polished pink I think we're gonna go with this one there we go sure and he too is oozing. I'm like covered in alcohol. That's not okay. All right, let's put him down. Hmm. I want something else though because it's it is pretty naked there. But then it's too much. This is where I spend all my time, you guys. Seriously. Is there a stamp I can add there? What else have I got for stamps? I could do, I could just do a little stamp of something. Maybe I'll just stamp this little guy. I just want to fill in that space, but I don't know that I want a bow. What do you think? Do you want a bow? Oh, it might do a little bit, uh, MJ, but nothing to worry about. You scribble it and it's going to, it's going to come off. Nope. It's not a big deal. Not a concern. Um, do I want a bow? Of some sort? I could do a bow. What have I got for colors? I have garden green. I have... Uh, what do I want here? Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know about that. Sarah Douglas, I don't know. Okay, let me look for what I've got in here for colors for Baker's Twine. Would that be too weird? Or red? Oh, how about this green? What green is this? This is garden, no, this is, I think, uh, I don't know what color green this is, um, but it's not shaded spruce, but that's okay because we don't have a lot of shaded spruce here other than the sentiment. Let me just see if it works. You think a dragonfly? See, but Donna's going to get mad though because that's going to be four embellishments. Uh, 
but I don't know. I think you can do three in a bow. A bow looks stupid. Pink? Could do pink, but what do you think about a bow in the first place? Do we even want a bow? I think I could get away with it. Bow or no bow? Vote now. Um, hmm. Hmm. What is this? This is old olive. I don't think that's the right color. All right. This ribbon. Be a rebel? It could be. Now that's like a. How about. I don't think the gold is with the um, vanilla, but we have silver. I don't think that goes because that's a weird color. Bow? Okay, Judy. And then are we going with green? Are we going with pink? You know what? I could use a polished pink. Oh, wait, wait. I see something. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, 7.56. Shut the front door. Is that okay? Sure, why not? Somebody going to get my card and say, Tamara, what's with the bow color? Okay, so this is our, what is this? This is our in color something or other. Sweet Sorbet, which is not one of our colors in my card, but that's okay. Let's just see how this looks. Sure, why not? Trim that. I like this ribbon, but it does fray easily, so you got to be careful on manhandling once it's cut. Okay. Sorry, Donna, look away. Look away. Uh, glue dots have gone missing. And I'm not going to have time. I don't know where the glue dots went. Here's another roll. I'm not going to have time. Are we going to have time to do my envelopes? Probably not. I think it's cute. is crooked though it's not even the tails aren't even there don't it kind of hides that little guy so maybe that'll make you feel better okay well i'm doing it i'm gonna go crazy i'm going rebel sorry donna oh my gosh i'm running into things what is on the floor my cut and emboss machine okay all right so what do i have do i have time to do my insides I need we could do these cute little guys because they're cute cutesies let me see what else I've got for flowers lord knows I've got a lot of them oh oh that's the one I was thinking of this one because look it matches kind of matches I know I told you look away Donna look away Okay, focus on the fact, Donna, that I'm doing envelopes and insides. Okay, so I'm going to do this little guy. And he's going to be in, I guess, polished pink. Where is he? Here he is. I could take the time and color him with... I have to do it. I have to do it. What color should I do? I want this color. I want this, the starry sky. And the granny apple green. 7.58, we still have time. Like that. Actually, when you direct when you color directly on the ink um, or on the stamp, it's not as crisp of an image. So when you can, you want to go in and ink it as much as you can in your finger. Oh, oh. <laughs> We go in here. I'm going to remove that a little bit of blue there. Oh, it's all over my finger. I'm gonna go in with my granny apple green right up to that spot. It's just when you when you use the marker, it's not as crisp of an image. I promise you, it's kind of you can huff on it to kind of reactivate the ink, but that's just it's much prettier than if you do it. 
with the marker. Now this spot I missed just a titch of the blue of the starry sky there. Okay. I still have all the sequins from my ballerina cards. <laughs> Just takes that extra little second to get it right. Is this Granny Echo Green? It is. Okay. It's eight o'clock. Look at that. And I just have the envelopes to do. Three envelopes. Oh, she reaches for the stars. Okay, one, two, three. I could do the same thing. And that is our mystery card Monday, which was fun. Okay, so listen, hey, for those of you, hey, Donna, do you want to come? Well, anybody who's in the Edmonton area, um, I am do, I'm hosting a card kit class at the Panda Express near my house on March the 7th. It's $35. You can either do the light the candles kit or the million thanks kit um i've got about seven or eight people who are in um the more the merrier it's it's just a reason to get out of the house have some dinner if you want you don't have to buy dinner uh, make some cards it's an hour and a half tops like 6 30 to 8. um i need rsvps by friday but it's going to be a lot of fun um lots of my girlfriends are coming and it's going to be a nice night out so if you guys are in the edmonton area and you fancy a night out Click on the link and register. Okay, so there are our three cards. Simple, simple. Stepped up a little bit with or without the bow and stepped up more. So the same layout. Great one to mass produce. Great layout for Christmas. Um, super fun, I think. If you played along, take a picture and post it in, my, in the comments. I'll take a picture of mine and pop it in um, in my feed. And then if you could put yours in the comments, then I can see what you made and everybody else can see what you made and it'll be fun. Meanwhile, um, pop in on Thursday for check it out Tuesday, Thursday edition. I don't know what we're making. If you have any requests on something you want to see, I might be able to make that work out for you. Um, let me know if there's anything you want. Celebrations is still on, only one more week. If you're planning to join, do it sooner than later. Um, get those last minute orders and girls, if you have any questions, shoot me a message. Have a great night. Happy long weekend.